And welcome back. I was just starting to talk about Spunwack in the last episode. So to bring you up to speed on the start of our UHC, it's been great. Unfortunately, we didn't get ourselves um, lever. And I stated my plan was to straight away branch mine. I want to get some diamonds, then I want to get back up to the surface. I want PvP in this UHC. And so far, we have actually set ourselves up for a really good start. But I feel like in order for this to work, we have to branch mine and we have to get diamonds. So I have a topic, a, a talking point for this one, and it's based on a video that Spunwack made, and Spunwack used to be a hermit. And I say, unfortunately, as I said in the last video, unfortunately he left us um, because he lost his interest in Minecraft. Now, this guy is like old school Minecraft. He's from back in the day. He's actually one of the people who really inspired me when I was first making videos, and I didn't realize it was him until way later. And uh, we were discussing, you know, uh, who would we like to join our group because we want more people in the group. His name came up and I was like, you know, Spunwack. Okay, let's go check him out. And uh, I think it was just Assassin said to me, you know, th this guy's Minecraft Muse. And I'm like, Minecraft Muse, hmm. Went and checked out the channel. I was like, oh my god, this guy. Like, I love this guy's videos. They were really inspirational. And uh, they are old school style Minecraft. So, um, anyway, I was watching a Spunwack video, and he's doing a satire on these types of videos that you will see quite frequently um, about how YouTube is changing, and it's the end of YouTube, and not to name names, but it's generally coming from not only big names in the Minecraft community, but smaller names as well, and I myself was once guilty of, uh, of getting in on the hysteria about YouTube's changes when they changed the layout a long time ago, and the change that they made to the layout was actually really good. It just, at the time... Afraid of change. And uh, Spumac, the way he frames why people are afraid of change and why they're making these videos is because, and there goes my pick, let's hope we... Oh, no, wait, didn't we get some more iron? Here's another thing. We kind of we kind of need to get, you know, enough iron going. Hi, I'm clicking on those things and something weird's happening. We kind of need to get enough iron going. Do you know what I've just realised? There's diamonds behind there, isn't there? <laughs> We kind of need to get enough iron going so that we don't just keep using up our pick each time. Do you know what I mean? But anyway, um, the story. So, yeah, these these YouTubers make videos where they really drama, dr dramatize and create this hate train against YouTube. I've learned something over my time on YouTube and being in contact with various people at YouTube. That YouTube is not seen the same way as it is from the people that run it. Oh, wow, what's over here? As it will be from the user. Hi. Uh, I need a bucket of water here. There we go. Get racked to lava. Get... Oh, okay. Oh, that could have destroyed the water, couldn't it? I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> um, hi, we've got places to explore now. And this story's just going to get chopped up at this point. So how about we come back to it? I didn't, I didn't really talk about his video. I'm making a mental note here. And there's stuff to talk about in his video. And then I said something else. I've already forgotten. I have already forgotten. I really need to know what it was. <laughs> Oh well, oh well. Me and my train of thoughts, man. This is this is just me all over. If you've ever watched me stream, it's uh, it's horrendous me trying to keep uh, keep in touch with my brain and what it's thinking about. Oh man, we are getting 15 levels of XP. This is insane. Right, so now is another time to make some more armor. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, you want diamond armor? Well, health is valuable. We don't want to lose any, and we can make another pick with that. So we're armored up. That's great. We will need armor for an anvil eventually. That's an important thing in this game. Um, but it comes with time. Cool. So we went round to the side and explored that bit. Now we're going to go in this direction and focus on this. I really want to know what that other thing I was going to say was. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. Great amounts of XP from the redstone. You know, another thing you can do in this game is leave the redstone somewhere. PvP has been enabled. Good to know. Um, you can leave... You can leave the uh, the redstone and come back for it later, and it's more valuable when you're doing low-level enchants to, to mine it bit at a time, because it ends up being worth more overall. That, to me, looks like a dead end. It also goes above diamond level, so we're just going to take um, the iron. Now, I don't know that I'm going to get my diamonds in this area and backtrack to it, so we go this way. There you go. The admins are doing work on the fly, letting you know that the PvP has been enabled. <laughs> and apparently there was a team kill. Jeez, that doesn't sound very good, does it? And another one. Uh, Wells Knight with a kill. Oh yeah, come on Hermits. Hermits be wrecking. And another kill from Wells Knight. That's amazing. Wow, I wonder where all that's going down. Because we ain't near no surface, you know what I mean? And I kind of feel like without the enchanting, 
Would I be strong enough to take anyone on? I'm not going to wuss out on my plan, man. It's about getting diamonds, then we've got to go to the surface. Um, so Lapis is an important part of enchanting, and there have been UHCs where I've just forgotten about it, you know? <laughs> and that really sucks. You're like, you're like halfway and you're like, I didn't get any Lapis while I was down there. Now this temporarily goes above where we would like it to go. Uh, please don't make that spill everywhere, is what I'm thinking. Also, we will pick up the iron here. Very good. Very, very good. And then we get to go over into this area. There's more iron. Wow. If only it were diamonds. So does this go back down? I think it goes to those massive ravines. Uh, we've got to be super cautious in here. But if it goes downwards, Lapis, there might be diamonds in there. So, I mean, let's pick up the iron because we're kind of like just continuously heading in a direction. By the way, I forgot to mention that uh, where we started, we've actually moved away from it was... I think this is sort of around like 50 and then 380. So we were quite close to the central area, which is probably not a bad place to be. You don't have to think too much about like what direction you're going to head in. Uh, but the amount of iron we're picking up here is fantastic. Just got to start cranking out. And there's some gold. Got to start cranking out the diamonds, man. There's a fair bit of gold and there's also a creeper here. That's great. Um, how do I want to deal with that guy, man? I kind of want to get in this area a bit more and see what it has to offer. And I'm super cautious about things dropping down on top of me at this point. Um, so I guess while that creeper is preoccupied, let's go get this gold. And yes, there's lapis. There's always something else to get. Whew, right, first gold. Man, that's good, that's good. That's uh, relieving the stress of the UHC. Believe me, UHC is stressful. <laughs> it is stressful. Okay, and more iron. I think, we're, I think we're starting to approach that point where we might not want to mine iron and just keep on the move for uh, other stuff. Now now he's noticed me. Jeez, taking his time there. Right, what's down the side here? Iron on that side, so we'll give that one a skip. Um, I'm trying to make sense of what I'm seeing above and around. I, I don't really think it's worth it. There might be something under that water. And where is the creeper? There you are. Got you. I need something to drop on this guy. Hey, this is this is an awkward situation. I need to get... Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, you. How did you do damage to me? I was blocking. Oh, did you see that? He did a heart of da That is just not cool. A heart of damage and I was blocking. I mean, what more can I do? I can't... I can't do much more. Dude, get wrecked. And where's your friend? Okay, here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Hi. That's not a problem anymore. He's in there. Jeez, okay. Right, we're picking up that stuff. We're going over here. We want to get out of this area. This area is going to be bad for us. Um, around the corner might actually be good. Oh, this is this is such a risky game. There's gold, and then it goes a little bit lower. So we want to go into that area. We also desperately want to get this gold and get it quickly. Okay, more, 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 more. Is there anything else there? Nope. So we'll take that, and uh, we'll get out of here. There's so much iron, man. I'm not sure if I should collect it or not. Okay, we need to we need to go through this area. Um, so this stuff is getting patched up. Whew, okay, and it goes lower, and I see a intersecting cave. This is our cave, man. This is where we find diamonds, right? I believe it is. I hope it is. Fingers crossed, peeps. Oh, jeez, there's something down here. It's a zombie. Take that, fella. You're getting wrecked. Right, now what we need to do is make some more torches. Very good. Okay. There is nothing down here. Uh, I'm going to mine the coal, because sod's law, there'll be something behind it, like iron. Man, I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't focus on uh, on this diamond thing. Maybe it's time to change strategy a little bit, because we could go to the surface and get enchanting. Thing is, if you... Oh, but can I? Because I need diamonds. Man, it's all about diamonds every time. And we ain't finding none, and I thought I picked a really good strategy. And uh, in my mind, I was thinking about backtracking to where we were branching, but really, that I think that's not a good... Like, you see your time, you just got to keep going, you know. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely going to stick it out right here for now. Um, hmm, question is, do I want to start from here or do I want to go back near that ravine? I think it's worth sticking your head in there. Y10, good place to uh, branch mine. Okay, uh, I'm in the ravine. There's potentially stuff of use. I think we should take the iron that we saw here. Uh, any gold? There was lapis. I don't want to go up there for the iron. Okay, you need to get Rex. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's... I'm going to blame that on lag, but that was probably my fault. I think I got a little bit too confident there. And the uh, <laughs> lag backfired. Don't worry about it. At, like, a heart and a half, we can make a golden apple once we're at the surface. Okay, so, 
Uh, there was iron back here, there was coal, and that was about it really. I ain't seeing any gold up top. Uh, we're going to go branch mine again, which means we get to continue talking about our talking topic, which was this video that uh, Spumwack made. So, safety check. Are we good? I think we're all good around here. We'll block off this entrance uh, just to make sure of it. And now we're going to branch mine in this direction, which is going... Uh, towards the center. We don't want to do that for too long though, but it's what we'll do. And we'll hold down shift. Although other other players can't see our nameplates. And I haven't been looking out for other nameplates. So anyway, Spun makes this video where he satires YouTubers who complain about changes in YouTube. And he points out something really interesting. And uh, I feel like he kind of gets to the to the point. And Cupfan gets a kill. Wow, that's amazing, man. All the hermits are getting kills. I've got to get one myself. They are getting wrecked. He makes a, a really a point that I think is uh, you know really well thought out that they're not particularly critiquing YouTube for um, you know changing something that could be dangerous for them, but it is it is a complaint about the thing that makes YouTube work in the way it does. And Cubfan is wrecking house here, man. I need to get on a, in on some of that PvP action. Uh, what happens on YouTube is that you are steered in a direction to gain views and clicks on your video. And it is common practice for, you know, established YouTubers like myself to do this, to gear your videos in a way that engages it with YouTube's platform. Now, that might sound on one hand like a little bit uh, cheaty or gaming the system or whatever, but it's something that YouTube itself encourages. So when these YouTubers are moaning about a change and they're fearful of the future and what might happen, uh, it's more so that YouTubers encourage them to behave in a particular way and that might now be in threat. Now, I don't know that it was me that came through here. And actually, this looks very similar to... Yep, yeah, this is the cave that I came through on. Jeez, I think our branch mine is back through there. Wow, I can uh, I can recognise and remember, can't I? So, did I go all the way over here? I Let's just start digging again, okay? Oh, and I really hope we get some diamonds. So, uh, YouTube encourages you to behave in this particular way. Now, I, I've always been really like open about how I do YouTube, and I've talked about it in my live streams. Not so much in my videos, but like, let's take my series, uh, Do You Know Minecraft, for example. Those are videos that intentionally try to gain views and gain subscribers. And why is that? It's because this is my job, and I love it, and I want to do it for a long, long time, right? So it makes sense that you would do things that grow your channel on YouTube, and keep you in the game, so to speak, right? Now, some people might uh, see that in a different light. You're more than welcome to. It's, you know, I'm telling you how it is from my perspective. Um, and so what these people are, are moaning about is that YouTube has encouraged them to behave in one way, and then that way of behaving might become under threat because all these things seem to revolve around algorithm changes and you'll hear people talking about recommended videos and it's because content has been forged to chase things that become popular to uh, chase practices that um, you know make a make a difference to your views and to your channel like putting arrows and circles in your thumbnails and using capital letters and that's something I might start doing by the way I might start using capital letters because YouTube had a talk with me and they said do it like they said uh, like I have a YouTube rep now a proper one who coaches me on how to do things on YouTube which I kind of like learned over the five years I've been doing it but now they're saying like no you should do caps it works like more people click on videos with caps and I'm thinking well obviously that's what I want to do I want to keep doing this I don't want it to be over anytime soon so you know do the things that are uh, a good practice, but there's there's an element of compromise here. You can be compromised. You know, do do I want to just chase that and do things that I don't like doing on YouTube? No. And so when I did my Do You Know Minecraft series, I was aiming to get all these views and and subscribers, but I was making a video about stuff I love. I love following the updates of Minecraft. I love learning all the little things that go unnoticed, and then I really enjoy making a video about it for you guys. And so when the hand fits the glove, you know then I'm good to go, is guess what I'm saying about it. So what, what Spunwack is pointing out though is that by moaning about these changes, what you're actually moaning about is that YouTube has encouraged you to behave in a particular way, to do your videos in a particular way, and then that becomes under threat. Now I think a further point of his video was that he was critiquing them for doing that in the first place, which I'm not so, I'm not so sure I can be on the same page there. I think, you know, um, if you want to do YouTube, you're going to end up following these these ways of doing things at one point or another. And I think that's a really good place to just pause for a second and reflect on what we've said. 
uh, so to speak, because we just entered a little cave and oh, I'm half wondering about going to the surface now. Again, we need diamonds. We need diamonds, 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 and I'm getting none. This is this is like infuriating for me now, actually. My UHC, I'm starting to feel like I might miss out on kills. I might miss out on all the fun if I don't find some diamonds. But luckily, you guys are here with me. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. Talking about YouTube. <laughs> Uh, it makes this a whole lot easier, got to say. But yeah, that's the kind of story about about um, Spun Max video. And I, you know, I'd like to say I'll link it in the description box, but I know that I will forget it. So if you're interested in seeing his video, you can simply uh, head over to Spun Max channel by searching for Spun Whack and just look for the title. It's like an all capital letters uh, YouTubers moan about YouTube or something. And it's a really cool video, and I think it's really funny as well the way that he does it. Um, yeah, so that's that I guess. I feel like I could talk a bit more about the topic, but you might be bored of it by now. Oh, every block that breaks here, I'm just thinking, come on, come on now, come on, this next one, that'll be it. That one right there, no, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> well, let's keep going in this direction then. Man, I re I, maybe what I should say to the guys who make the world, the admins, is like, let's turn up the diamond generation a little bit, peeps, because I never seem to find any. Okay, gravel. Hey, um, we need string, and we need to make arrows at some point. So I should probably get a little bit of flint going. And since we're down at, like, diamond level, not a bad place to mine out the flint. There might be some diamonds behind it. Probably not. I'm guessing there won't be. But me with a stack of gravel and some flint, that's pretty good, I think. Um, getting the strings, though, we'd need to find a mine shaft. I don't think I've heard any spiders so far this UHC, so it's not like we missed an opportunity. Uh, sorry if the video is dark for you there. But now it's nice and bright. And there we go. I feel like I need to sip some water soon. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about the channel. Things that are happening on the channel. There's 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 going to be a change in content coming your way. Um, not a massive change. Still going to be Minecraft. Sorry, peeps, I had to uh, make a little cut there. So, this should not be out of sync. I will edit it in a way that means... Um, oh, that, yeah, <laughs> nothing will be affected. For, for synchronization, if you're watching multiple, you know, you didn't just lose 10 minutes of footage is what I'm saying. I You'll be watching the same time slap. Anyway, um, interruptions aside, I was talking about the future of the channel. There's going to be some changes on, on the channel. Different types of videos coming your way. Uh, a lot of stuff happening all at once. And by the time you're watching this video, you should know about some of it. And I just want to say, man, check out these new things that are happening. I'm really excited for the next few months on, on my channel as there's going to be... Uh, yeah, some, some new things happening. It's going to be really exciting, but that's all I'm going to say for now. So, still no diamonds, man. I'm starting to get really annoyed. <laughs> it's like, come on, man, give me a break. Like, I've been down here for ages. What do what does X have to do? I mean, I should probably be a little bit lower down for one. Um, but that hasn't gone too well. Let's make sure we pick up... We need to do an inventory dump now. We need to get the gravel, we need to get the flint, and we need to get rid of some of these uh, useless things. I keep on to the eggs. Uh, don't know why, they won't be terribly useful just yet. Okay, and that's kind of everything out of that area. Right, so we need to make a pick. And then we need to cross our fingers for diamonds. Uh, there has been, there has been like, <laughs> not a lot of PvP for a moment, I've just noticed. Uh, I've also got a ton, an absolute ton of coal. And look at my levels, I really should have found diamonds by now. <laughs> oh, I'm starting to feel quite down. Oh man, like... For the time that I put in branch mining, we should have got signed by now. Should have got signed by now, but hey, that's this stuff, you know, you've got to keep trucking, trucking on, uh, sticking it out and all. Tr trucking it on? St sticking it out? What? <laughs> you got to keep sticking at it and trucking on. I don't know, I don't know what happened there. My sentences got all confibulated in my brain. You've heard me talk about that before. When I go to say words, right... Like, my brain sometimes comes up with two words and then mixes them together. Or, there's two words in the sentence that I'm going to say one after the other and they get merged together. Now that I've said it, you've got to look out for it. You'll hear me do it every now and then. It's kind of weird. <laughs> right, now we've probably got an insane... We've almost got a stack of iron, so that's kind of crazy. Oh, I don't hear any lava. 
I, I've got my uh, volume on my personal volume. And that's it for this episode.